This is how you can make a mod roll command using your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from any of the videos on my channel, you can get a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you could get a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bot packages based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go and get into the code. So to start, we're going to go ahead and create our mod roll schema. So this is going to include our guild as a string and our role as a string as well. Go ahead and create both of those and just go ahead and save it just like I have done here. Then we can go over to moderation and we're going to go ahead and create a mod role.js and in here we're going to get our slash command builder. We're also going to get our embed builder and we're going to get our permissions bit field and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. Next we're going to go ahead and actually define our schema. So we can do const mod role equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our schema. So we can do this and we're going to get our mod rule schema just like that. Next we're going to go ahead and get our commands so we can do module that exports. We can get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder. We're just going to go ahead and start off by setting a name which is going to be our mod rule. Then we're going to go ahead and set a description which is not going to be visible so we can just say a mod rule or something like that. Doesn't really matter. Next, we're going to go ahead and get three sub commands. I'm just going to go ahead and go through them. The first is going to be add. The description is going to be add a mod role to the database. And then we're going to go ahead and get a role, which is going to be the name of role. The description, which will be the mod role to add. And we're going to set required to true. Our next sub command is going to be remove. And we're going to go ahead and set a description. And we're going to go ahead and say remove a role from the mod role database. Then we're going to go ahead and add another role option. And that is going to be role again. And the description is going to be the role to remove. Then we're going to go ahead and set required to true. Finally, we're going to go ahead and get our last sub command, which is going to be check. And the description is just going to be check the mod roles. After we get all of that, we can go ahead and do async executes. So we can go ahead and get our interaction. And then we can actually go ahead and open this up. First, we're going to go ahead and get our options. And we're going to set that equal to our interaction. We're going to do const sub equals options that get sub command. Then we're going to go ahead and do var data equals weights. And we're going to get a mod role. And then we can do to find, which is going to be our guild. And we're going to get our interaction .guild .id. So we've gotten our data and our sub commands. Now we're going to go ahead and create two functions. So we can do async function send message. This is going to be our message parameter. In here we're going to get our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We're going to go ahead and start off by setting a color which is going to be blurple and we're also going to go ahead and set a description which is going to be our message. Then we're going to go ahead and do await interaction dot reply and we're going to go ahead and get our embeds and that is going to be set to our embed and then we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true on that message. Then we're going to go ahead and create one more function. So we're going to do async function check data and we're going to go ahead and get add as a parameter. In here we're going to do var check and we're also going to go ahead and say var role equals options to get role and this is going to be our role. Then we're going to go ahead and do await data dot for each and we're going to go ahead and get async value. We're going to be using a lot of for each in this just to keep that in mind we're going to do if value.role is equal to our role.id then we're going to go ahead and return check equals true just like that then we're going to actually come outside of that and we're going to go ahead and return our check variable so that's just a little function we're going to be using later on in this code then we're going to get our permission check because the mod role is supposed to replace this but unfortunately we don't have that set up so we're going to say if and we're going to go ahead and do no interaction dot member dot permissions that has and we're going to go ahead and get our permissions bit field that flags that administrator and then we're going to go ahead and return wait send message and i'm just going to go ahead and get our caution emoji in here and we can go ahead and say you don't have perms to use this just like that then we're going to come down here and we're going to go ahead and switch to our sub command in here we're going to get case which is going to be add within this we're going to say var check equals await check data. So that's going to be the function we created above. And we're going to go ahead and put in true for the add parameter. We're going to do var role equals options that get role. And we're going to go ahead and get our role just like that. We're going to do if check. And then we can actually go ahead and open this up. And we're going to go ahead and return await send message. And we're going to go ahead and get our caution emoji again. And within this, we can go ahead and say, it looks like that is already a mod role. Then we're going to go ahead and say else. And we're actually going to go ahead and do await mod role dot create. And we're going to go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be set to our interaction dot guild dot ID. And we're also going to go ahead and set our role. So we can do role. And that is going to be our role dot ID. So we can just go and say role dot ID. So after we do that, we're just going to go ahead and send a message. So we can return await send a message. And we're going to go ahead and get our globe emoji this time and all we have to say is i have added and we can go ahead and get roll 
uh, as a mod roll, just like that. Now we're actually gonna go ahead and break. So we can say break and we're gonna get our case, which is gonna be removed. Within this, we're gonna do var check. And actually we can just go ahead and copy what we had above because it's gonna be pretty similar. So we're just gonna go ahead and copy that. We're gonna set the check parameter to false or the add parameter to false. Then we're gonna go ahead and do if no check. Then we can actually go ahead and open this up. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy the send message function we did above here. We're just gonna go ahead and alter this text a little bit. So we can go ahead and say, it looks like that role is not a mod role. So I can't remove it. And then we're gonna go ahead and say else. And we can go ahead and do await mod role dot delete one. This is going to be our guild, which is going to be our interaction dot guild ID. We get our role, which is going to be our role that ID. Then we're going to go ahead and return await send message. And we're going to go ahead and get that same globe emoji that we've been getting. And I'm just going to go ahead and say a role. And we can go and say is no longer a mod role, just like that. So after we do that, we only have one more sub command to complete. So we can just go ahead and do break here. And we're going to get our case, which is going to be check. Then within this, we're going to do var values and we're going to make that an array. We're going to be pushing all of the roles that are mod roles to this array so that we can format that into an embed. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and do await data for each. We can go ahead and get our async value. And within this, we're going to say if value.role. Actually, we're going to say if no value.role. Then we can just go ahead and return. We're going to say else. And within this, we're going to do var r equals await interaction dot guild dot roles dot cache and we can do dot gets and that is going to be our value dot roll just like that so now we're going to go in and say values dot push and we're going to go in and get a string which is going to be roll name and i'm going to go in and set that to our r dot name i guess then we can do a backslash n and we're going to go ahead and get our roll id and I'm going to go ahead and set that to our r.id. So we're basically completing the string that we want to have within our embed for the check. So we're just getting the name and we're getting the role ID. You could put more information from the role in there, but I'm just going to leave it as is. So now that we have all that information, we're just going to go ahead and say if values.length is greater than zero, we're going to open this up. And the reason is if values is actually less than zero or equal to zero, it would be equal to zero then that means there are no mod rules. So that means that because it's greater, we can confirm that there is at least one mod rule. So we can go ahead and do a way to send message. I'm gonna go ahead and get that globe emoji. And in here, we can go ahead and say moderator roles. And we're gonna go ahead and do backslash n, backslash n. We're gonna get our values and we can do dot join. And we're gonna go ahead and join that with a backslash n. So your send message function should look something like this. Then we can go ahead and say else. And we're gonna go in and wait send message again. And within this, I'm gonna go ahead and get that caution emoji. And we're just gonna go ahead and say, it looks like there are no mod rules here, just like that. Like I said before, because values.length is greater than zero, that means there is at least one mod rule. Otherwise, there are no mod rules. So we're just gonna go ahead and send that message. All right, so with that, we are actually done with the command portion of this. So we can actually go ahead and save this file, and then we're going to close out of this, and we're going to go ahead and go over to events. We can go into our interaction.create. So we're basically going to be handling all of the interactions within this, because every time a command is run, we're going to get an interaction create event. And within that, we're going to go ahead and check to see if the command is set to a mod command. And if it is, we're going to check to see if the user has that mod role or mod roles, and if they do, then we're going to let them use the command. Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and return and do nothing or send a message confirming that they're not allowed to use that command. So we're just going to go ahead and call this mod role. I'm just going to go like that. And within this, we're going to go ahead and say if command.mod, then we're going to go ahead and open this up. And I'll show you how this works in just a second. Then we're going to do var mod role data equals await mod role the find one. Actually, we're just going to do find, and that's going to be our guild, which can be our interaction.guild.id. Keep in mind, you do have to define your mod role schema above, just like we did in the previous file. Then we're going to go ahead and say if mod role data, and we can go ahead and say that length is greater than zero, just like we were doing in the other file. We're going to go ahead and do var check, and then we can go ahead and say await mod role data that for each, and we're going to go ahead and do async value, and we can open this up. So the reason we're doing that length thing again right here in this logical statement is if it's less than zero or equal to zero, which it would be, then that means there is no mod rule saved. So we don't even have to do anything. So within this for each here, we're basically just going to say const m roles equals weights interaction dot member dot roles dot cache dot map. 
I'm gonna get a role arrow function role.id. So we're basically mapping the roles that the member using this interaction has. And then we're actually gonna go ahead and for each this. So we can do m roles dot for each. We're gonna go ahead and get our async value. And within this, we're gonna compare the roles within this here to the roles that are saved within the data. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and say if role equals value.role, then we're gonna go ahead and set check to true. So after that comparison, we need to check to see what our check variable actually is. So to do that, we're gonna come outside of the for each's, but we're gonna stay in this logical statement. We're gonna say if no check, then we're just gonna go ahead and return await interaction to reply. And we can just get contents and I'm gonna go ahead and get a caution emoji. And all we have to say is only, and we can get moderators and we can say, can you use this command just like that. And we're also gonna go ahead and set infermal on that message to true. All right, so essentially what we've done here is we're checking to see whether or not the user has the role that is saved within our variable. And if it does, we do nothing. And if the user does not, then we go ahead and return with this message. Now, one thing I did mess up is I did async value. This has to be async role. And within this, it should be the same um, because we're just getting our role variable, which is going to be our role id so we should be good with that simple change and with that we're actually done with this entire command but let's just do one more thing let's go ahead and create our test mod role command so i've actually gone ahead and created this i've basically just gone ahead and created a very very basic command that just goes ahead and replies this is going to be the response it gets when the command is actually ran so what i did here is i set mod to true so anytime you want to have a moderator command just simply set mod in here to true and add a comma. If you set it to false, obviously it's going to be false. And if you completely remove it, then obviously it's going to be false as well. But let's actually go ahead and put mod true right back in there. So now let's actually go ahead and save all of these files and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, let's go ahead and get our mod roles so we can actually set this up. I'm just going to go ahead and check to see how many mod roles we have. And it looks like we don't have any mod roles here. So with that in mind, let's run our test mod role command. And as you can see, it's going to give us the response that we get when running the command. And that is because there are no mod roles, so the error is not actually catching. So now let's go ahead and do mod role add. And this time we're just going to get the M role. So we can go ahead and send that. And it's going to say, I have added M as a mod role. So we can go ahead and check this. So we can do mod role check. And as you can see, now we have a role name, which is going to be M and the role ID as our moderator roles. Now, keep in mind, we could add more than one. We could add as many as you really wanted to. As long as you have one, this will work. So now let's just go ahead and try to test our mod role command. But before we do that, I do not have that role. So now when we actually go ahead and send this command, as you can see, it's going to say only moderators can use this command. And it's saying that because I'm not a moderator. So now let's actually go ahead and give myself the moderator role, which is going to be that M role, and we can run this command again. And now, as you can see, it's going to run the same interaction that we did above before we actually set a mod role, meaning it is working. I do have the mod role. So last thing we can actually do is we're going to go ahead and do mod role remove, and we're just going to remove that. Now we can actually go ahead and send it and we can get our check. And as you can see, now we don't have any mod roles. So now regardless of whether or not I have the M role, it is going to let me send this interaction as you can see here. Now, like I said before, you could add more than one role. Um, that would just mean if the user just has one of them or both, it will work and let them actually send that message. But it's pretty straightforward. This is what I would recommend doing for any moderator command like ban, steal, anything like that. That way you don't have to write a permission statement. You can just select a mod role and that mod role will be the role that you trust moderators with. All right, so that's how you can make an advanced mod role system using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. We'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.